Hi everyone and welcome to Installing Body Slide the Naughty Way. In this video we are going to cover how to install the required body slide add-on files without installing a full add-on body mod. This is useful to know if you don't want to use a particular body in your game, but you would like to have its shapes available in the body slide tool. You can use any compatible body mod, but we will install CBBE as our example. If you are a beginner, please do not attempt this type of install. Instead, watch the previous video in this series to install one of these body mod add-ons in its entirety. In this video, I am assuming that you have already installed and set up the body slide tool correctly for your mod manager. This is especially important for MO2 users or else you risk overriding your original mods when you build outfits. Please refer to the links in the description to see the proper setup steps for your mod manager. Before we continue, I want to be sure you really understand this non-standard add-on installation method. It will not install the body, only the body slide required files. But remember, you must install the body mob that matches outfits you plan to wear in the game, or else you are going to get wrist, ankle, and maybe neck seams, and you will probably have weird skin textures. So if you plan to build CBBE-based outfits in Body Slide and wear them in your game, then you need to install the entire CBBE body mod. The same goes for BHUMP, Himbo, and all of these Body Slide compatible body mods. You can have Body Slide add-on files, meaning the Caliente Tools folder, installed and activated for as many different body types as you want since those files are unique to each body mod. They're not actually used in the game, and they will not overwrite each other. However, remember that you can only have one body type per sex activated in your game at a given time. So if you want to replace the vanilla body in Skyrim, just pick one female body mod and or one male body mod and install that in its entirety as you would any other mod. Then build all your game outfits to match that body type, or else things will get weird. As I said, we are using CBBE as the example here, but the same method will apply for any Body Slide compatible add-on. Head to the Body Mod page, which is probably not safe for work, so be careful, and select the option to manually download, and then wait for it to finish. Locate the downloaded file and double-click on it to open up the zipped archive. Find the Caliente Tools folder, which for CBBE is inside a folder called Required Slim that is probably the last one on the list. This Caliente Tools folder is the magical pack of stuff that you need, at a minimum, to work with this body type in Body Slide. Now we are going to make a new mod folder, put the required files there, and then install that as a new mod in your mod manager. You could merge these files into the body slide mod itself, but I suggest having them as separate mods so that you can turn them on or off as needed to keep the body slide window more manageable. To create a mod, first create a new folder, and I like to do this right on my desktop and then name it something appropriate like Body Slide Files for CBBE. In your Download Archive window, locate the Caliente Tools folder. Drag and drop Caliente Tools straight into the new folder that you made. It should look something like this. If the body comes with its own underwear textures and you want to be able to see those in Body Slide or Outfit Studio, you will also need a few more files. Find the Textures folder in the downloaded archive and drag and drop that into your new mod. For CBBE, this is found in the Underwear folder, so open that up and drag and drop this Textures folder directly into the white space of the new mod folder. And now it should look something like this. If there are options and you want a different color for the underwear, 
make sure you copy over the default textures first. Then you can select a different color option, drag and drop that texture folder over into the white space of your new mod, and say yes to any overwrite warnings. This will replace the default textures with whatever color variant you selected. One word of caution here, if your body mod comes with its own body textures, then you may not want those. If you want them, that's fine, just leave them here. But if you don't want to have those installed, then open up this textures folder, find those files, and delete them. And that's our new mod created. Now we just have to install it, and this is super easy for both Vortex and MO2. Let's do Mod Organizer first. Open your MO2 Mods folder using Windows Explorer. Note that your path may be different than mine, so just navigate to wherever your MO2 mods are located. Then simply drag and drop your new folder into the MO2 Mods folder. Be sure that it does not go into an existing mod folder by mistake. You should be able to see your new mod listed here among the other folders. Next, open MO2 or click Refresh if you already had it open. Find your new mod and activate it. Drag and drop it to wherever you want in your load order, or you can type in the load order number if you prefer. I like to put mine directly under the body slide mod itself. For Vortex users, open up Vortex and click on the Mods tab. Then just drag and drop your new mod folder right into this box at the bottom of the screen. It will get zipped up, installed, and probably automatically enabled and put in the right place in your mod list. Find your new mod folder and make sure it's activated. If there are any conflicts, you will need to resolve them. You should not really have conflicts unless you also have the full version of this body mod installed, in which case your new mod is redundant and load order will not matter. If you want to edit the name to remove 7Z from the end, just double click on the mod and edit the name in the box right here, then click the little orange arrow at the bottom of this side pane when you are done. And that's it for getting the required files installed. If you haven't done so already, you will need to complete the setup for body slide. And this is different depending on your mod manager. To see how this is done, please refer to the links in the description. These will take you directly to the relevant timestamp in the previous installation video. I hope that you found this little rogue add-on install helpful for your body slide needs. In our next video, we'll take a tour of the body slide window so that you can start to understand how it all works. Until then, happy outfitting! <laughs>